Hello, welcome back to MED, and today we're going to look at cylinder heads. So, Steve, what are you up to here? What are you doing? Okay, we've got a finished S Class Mini 7 S Class head here, but it isn't quite finished because it needs skimming. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to check the combustion chamber volume, which is the actual volume that's in this combustion chamber. You'll see we've got the valves in and we've actually put a spark plug in there. What we're going to do now is we're going to use this piece of perspex which has got two holes in it, one to let the fluid in, one to let the air out and we're going to seal this onto the top of the combustion chamber with a little bit of grease which we will put around. Why is it important to do this on an engine build? Uh, it's very important on limited formula classes because they are restricted to what combustion chamber volume you're allowed. So this is a must. Unrestricted formulas like Mini 7s, Mini Miglias, 7S class, they're all restricted to what volume you're allowed to use. So to make sure it complies with the regulations? Exactly. Is it to get the compression ratio right as well? To make sure the compression ratio is correct, that's right. Is that just normal grease or This special? is just a high melting point grease. It's just the first thing we came across today. All okay. grease will do the same job. So we'll pop the plate on the top. Yeah. And as you squeeze the plate down, you'll now notice that the black grease has now sealed the combustion chamber. Got it. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll get a pre-filled burette. This is a glass burette. You'll see it's got increments, each one is one cc, and inside there it's divided off into one tenths of a cc. So we'll start at zero, and what we'll do is now, we will fill the chamber. So, what would you, as a rough guess, what would you normally expect this to be? Standard head from Rover is supposed to be 21.4 cc, yeah. This one's had the valve seats lightly cut, so we could be up to 22cc on this one, but we will tell in a moment. Okay, this is a so, brand new MPI, MPI This is casting. the fluid going in, so you'll see it going in now, gradually filling up. You will see an actual bubble appear on the underside of the uh, Perspex plate in a second once it's filled up. Taking a little bit of a time on this. Would you check all, all four combustion chambers? There we come in. Yeah, we'll go th back to that in a second, Stephen. Okay. I'll, I'll let you concentrate. Well, we've got to get this right, otherwise you'll find it'll overfill. So you can see the bubble coming up now. We'll slow the actual fluid down. There's the fluid coming up to the bubble now. So we're nearly there. Almost. Three, two, one. Boom. So that is it. That is full now, and we now read off, and we weren't far out. This one is 22.4. Do you move your thumb around a little Sorry. bit so we can see that? 22.4. Keep going, see the numbers? You see that? No, <laughs> keep it going. There you go. 22.4. Yeah. So now we can calculate piston deck height against the ring gap, uh, sorry, against the uh, the gap for the rings between the top ring and the top of the piston, there's a gap there. The head gasket plus this will determine the total swept area. And we mentioned it earlier while you were concentrating, I'm trying not to put you off too much. Would you check the other three now? Okay, what you must do always on a race head is, you must check all four. Because some cylinder heads, as we've gone through in our previous videos on cylinder heads, the, de the depth from this face to here, if it varies on each valve, the combustion chamber will volume, will vary, yep. which will then affect the compression from one cylinder to another. Yep. So if you imagine that, that valve is 10 thou down, this one's 10 thou down compared to that one and that one, you've actually lowered the surface area of that valve and that valve by 10 thou, which could equate to most probably one, one and a half cc. So then compression on this cylinder will be higher than the compression on that cylinder. So was that rough running, just not delivering peak performance? Well, again, it makes for an uneven engine run. One's running a higher compression than the other, so it's not going to be even, so it will detract power. 
Okay, so this is what you need to do as part of your engine build process. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Okay.